Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am dealing with an issue in my garden. Thought you guys might like to see how I'm handling it. This is a clump of ash that grew back from an area where we had an ash tree removed last year. We even had the stump ground out, but there's clearly something left underneath the soil, either part of the stump or some roots that are still actively growing because it has pushed a ton of really strong growth. And this can be an issue that's really hard to attack and get rid of efficiently and quickly. Um, so I wanted to show you how I'm gonna be doing it this year. We have planted another shade tree. So this is a linden. We planted it like five or six feet away from the base of the old ash tree. You typically wanna go at least three feet away. You plant your new one at least three feet away from the side of the old one. But I've got lots of other things in this area. Like I've got a hydrangea here. I've got a climbing rose. I've got an arborvitae, some perennials. I'm gonna be doing annuals in this area, hopefully this week. So I want to take care of this in a way that's very targeted and very quick and something that won't hurt any of my other plants in this area. Now you guys know in our garden, we try to do everything as organically as possible and we really do. I can't think of any other thing that we use that's not organic, but this right here, I've done so much research and trials of organic methods of getting rid of stumps. And you can find all kinds of YouTube showing ways, organic methods that do not work. Like you can look them up. I just feel like this is the way to go. This is a stump and vine killer. It's incredibly targeted. In fact, it's got a little brush attached to its lid. So we're gonna be cutting this down to expose as much surface area of all of these sprouts as possible. And then we're just gonna dab this on the cut area. And real quick, before I do it, I just wanna explain the way you can kind of tell on these bottles. So this is a Bonide product. If you're looking at a wall full of bottles, it's really easy to tell the difference on this brand in particular, it, whether or not it's synthetic or organic by the swoosh. So the purple swoosh means it's synthetic. The brown swoosh, like the burnout that we use to kill the weeds in our driveway is an organic product. So brown swoosh e either means natural or organic. So that's kind of a quick way to kind of find what you need for your garden. A couple things about this, you do wanna use this during active growing season. Clearly a great time to use it on this right here because it is actively growing. You do wanna make sure kids and dogs are away. Well, you wanna make sure that they're away for any application of anything, whether it's synthetic or organic. Um, it's safe once it's dry. You just wanna make sure that, you know, people stay out of that area. I am gonna be wearing gloves and glasses today um, because that's really important that you keep your skin and your eyes protected from something like this. Uh, and then you wanna make sure that you apply it at least 24 hours before you have rain on the forecast. You wanna have, give it plenty of time to soak in and dry before you get any extra moisture. Okay, so let's just get into this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this all back first. And I just have my Felcos because I don't think anything is so thick that I can't cut through it with these. Yeah. And I'm trying to get down far enough on each one of these branches to where I am exposing, see that right there, as much surface area as possible. Like you wouldn't wanna cut them up here and try to do this. Plus I want them gone anyway. So this is the best method just to have them gone for good. So the other good thing about this, how I'm applying it today is that it does not translocate in the soil. So it will enter this plant, this ash tree, and it will stay within the ash tree. There are other roots in play in this area, but it won't affect those at all. Okay, gloves, long sleeves and glasses. And I'm just gonna use this undiluted, applied right to each one of these stumps. See how easy and like how it just doesn't contaminate anything else around it. You can use this as a foliar spray. I'm not as comfortable doing that because you know, it can, since it's a killer, it will want to kill everything it touches. But I can see where you would maybe want to do that. Like if you had a big patch of poison oak or poison ivy, don't necessarily want to get in there and uh, cut it all back to expose all the branches like this. So you could use it as a foliar application in those cases. I really want to get it thick on these big ones. But I just feel like this is so targeted and just such a, like, I guess you could say safer way of applying. And that is it. It, like, it truly is so easy to apply. Um, now you wouldn't want to use this either anywhere around 
edibles. So if you've got some stump coming up in the middle of your vegetable garden, probably try something different, try to have it ground out. Um, but in an application like this, in an ornamental kind of situation in a flower bed, this is a great way to get rid of um, something like this. Now there is a huge list in this label here of all different kinds of woody plants and vines it takes care of like elm and uh, western hemlock and all kinds of different things. So if you are having a really tough time getting rid of something like this, you have growth like this. Now this is not for suckers. Like if you have, let's say I've got a crab apple in my garden. It's a beautiful crab apple tree. It's sending up suckers from the bottom. You don't use this. There is a specific product that you use for suckers only. This would hurt the tree. Um, so this is only for things like this where you actually don't want growth from that plant ever again, if that makes sense. So anyway, I know that this video is kind of short. It is a fairly easy project to tackle, honestly, especially if you can get on it before you know it gets out of control. Um, and since I'm using so little of it, this little thing, this is what, eight ounces will last me forever because I'm rarely having to deal with an issue like this, thankfully, but it crops up every once in a while and it's nice to have a very quick, efficient way to deal with it. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Of course, you'll be able to see this. We'll be doing tours throughout this season. So you'll be able to kind of monitor the area so that you can actually like see that it actually does work. Um, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.